two gates, chords on guitar, one shape for the value of four chords without having to change your fingerings. So if you're new to shoegaze, this is a great starting place on guitar. Stick around and I'll show you the chords, rhythm, and some basic gear that you could use on a budget to enhance your sound. What I've got here is four chords. We're going to do them two times each. Get to know them. Grab your guitar. <laughs> We're dealing with an atmosphere of sus2 chords giving you kind of an ambient dreamy quality for a shoegaze sound with some distortion and buzz in the background. One chord out of the three has a little added ninth sound on your B flat. <laughs> And so learn them by just targeting where your middle finger on the thickest string should go. So in advance, you can think frets 3, 6, 8, and 11. And then I steer it towards the last chord, which was the beginning chord. So this is kind of like the sun, and these are little planets revolving around it. And they can keep going and cycling through. Or I can put in an ending like you heard in the intro, where I just have stuff based on G and D notes throughout the guitar. <laughs> That's where these chords want to be directed. And again, they just cycle through again and again. Now let's go into a rhythm that you hear. The rhythm in the beginning was adopted from a My Bloody Valentine type of sound. Let me know if you can pinpoint the track. Let's hear it again, and then we'll break it down. <laughs> rhythm I'm just getting familiar with it using some strum patterns up and down the right hand uh, for the specifics on the rhythm one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so this constant eighth note flow and the hand up and down in the strumming hand like a, a pendulum on a clock leaving space when you arrive to the next chord for it to breathe let's do it slow <laughs> some offbeat rhythms with it, something you want to consider for your playing. By the way, if you'd like to take this style of play next level, do check out the course, Shoegaze Dream Pop Guitar. This will give you the ultimate breakdown in gear, chords, composition, and everything you need to know for the styles of Shoegaze Dream Pop and Ambient Guitar. Go to the link in the description. Now back to the chords here. Add some drum tracks in the background. If you don't have any drum tracks to work with, you can expand on this sound by just creating a strum pattern in your right hand to jam with. It's also a great way to get to know the chords. Uh, sometimes some simple math, four times per chord, will help you get to know these chords. <laughs> a nice easy way to get to flow through the chords. The pointer for you I have for this one, you don't want to really drag your fingers down along the neck. So in between each chord, release the pressure by relaxing the fretting hand and you'll glide up to the next chord faster and you'll reduce that annoying string squeak sound. So just quickly lifting. <laughs> And this whole shape is built off of a basically like a G chord, but you wanted some more exotic notes in there. So I pop in an extra D note on the second string, and then I add the index. Second fret on the third string there, and now I get my sus, two types of sounds. And an added ninth never did anybody wrong in this style. Shoegaze guitar gear for a basic, simple setup. Turn up your reverb, then add in some chorus and delay a chorus or delay pedal. I like to use Boss. Secondly, you could also use some digital software. Free plugins will work as well. What you're also hearing in the background is I use a Holy Grail pedal. That gives you a resonator slap back type of effect. I just like the vibe. So that was chorus, reverb, delay, and then a fuzz pedal or some type of distortion in the back you're hearing the Holy Grail. For loads more, stay tuned, do subscribe, and then check out the website in the link in the description. See you next time.